Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. This old centipede game, like a lot of things that this age, uh, the rollerball and stuff is kind of not working so much anymore, and therefore the game is really difficult to play. I've never fixed something like this, but this is probably a lot like the old mice for your computer. Now what I'm expecting to find inside here is an old style rotary encoder like you might find on an old ball mouse. There's probably just going to be two wheels with slits cut in them between some uh, optical sensors. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, I've got the door open. I assume, let's see how this thing actually comes off. Oh, okay, there's just, some, there's just some simple latches on the edge here. I, I wish I could show them to you. I'll show them to you once I get them undone. There we go. So you see how that, that was actually quite simple. So you can see this latch here just goes up. It's an over center latch just like so. So that was easy. So just two, two latches. And here's our rollerball assembly. We've got four, four nuts holding it and this clip right here. So let's go ahead. We're going to unplug it. That way we can remove it with these four nuts. And take this rollerball assembly out. I'm imagining I'm going to find a lot of dust inside. This thing is so old, it's probably just all dusty, and that's why it's probably not reading. And there it is. And there's the, you can see the rotary encoder right there for one of the axes. So now I'm just removing the last of these six screws here to pop this cover off, and I'd imagine it come, yep, there it is. Just one cover, and there's the ball. All right. And you can see it rolls on these two axes here at the top right and top left. And then this bottom one here just applies pressure. And Alex, of course, is figuring out how it all works. And it's fairly dirty in here. And here's one of the sensors for the rotary encoder. I thought it would be optical, but it looks like it's not. It's just a magnetic or Hall effect sensor, perhaps. And it reads the difference in the, as the wheel goes by, it'll sense the difference between a gap or a bar. And because they're staggered a little bit, it knows which way the wheel is moving by the, the order of which of these two, the top or the bottom sensor triggers first. Okay, let me just wipe this down a little bit and have my assistant put it back together. And we have it screwed back together. And there it goes. Simple as that. that it rotates. And he just likes rolling it around. And then now I'm just going to stick it back in here. Boy, lining up four, screw, four bolts at the same time is kind of difficult, but I got it. And then now I'll tighten everything back and button this all back up, just like so. That was actually pretty simple. There we go. And look at this. After the ball's fixed, you can see the jump in the top three scores there. And yes, I've got the top spot. My wife's in third. Well, as you saw, it's an awful lot better than it was. It's not perfect. Of course, this thing is who knows how old. But it really wasn't all that difficult. I'm surprised at how easy that was, and I learned a little bit in the process. Hopefully you can apply this to some problem of your own. Probably not exactly this, but who knows what. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.